Hello all. I used the strength of 10 tigers to do up a bolt, so now I've got a stripped thread to repair. Happily it's a 5 minute job with a helicoiling kit. A helicoil is just a little coil of wire like this, and you use it to replace a thread that you've stripped out. The first step is to take the drill included in the kit, and we're going to use this to drill the hole oversize, ready to tap it. I'm using an old cordless because it's the smoothest drill I've got. I don't want the drill moving around in the hole and making it oversize or we'll be in real bother. I'm also taking care not to drill right through the sump because no one needs a sump full of aluminium bits. Once the hole is drilled out and cleaned up, the next step is to tap it. This tap has the same thread pitch as the bolt that was formerly in the hole before I gorillaed it, but it has a larger outside diameter to suit the outside diameter of the helicoil. Now, noting that impersonating the mountain when working on a car was what got me into this mess in the first place, I'm being quite cautious when tapping this thread because 1. I don't want to damage the sump, and two, even though it's only soft aluminium and quite unlikely, I definitely don't want to snap the tap. So I'm winding it in a little way, then winding it back out by a third of a turn or so to cut the curls of swarf off, then going in again. It's also really quite important to feel when the tap bottoms out in the hole, because at that point it can't screw in any further, and if you force it, you'll shear off all of your new threads at once. So, yeah, gently does it, because mullering it is how we all got into this mess in the first place. So here I am just triple checking I've got to the bottom of the hole, because once you start winding the helicoil in, you are committed. They don't like to come back out again. Now it's time to wind the helicoil in, and for that we're going to use this installation tool. Just take a helicoil and slide it on so that the little drive tang goes on last, and engages in the slot in the end of the tool. Now check that the hole is free from swarf, and then you can install the helicoil. A helicoil like this is really just a coil of wire, like a slinky spring, and you can actually see it bending around as I wind it in. Because the drive tank goes into the hole first, applying torque tends to shrink the diameter of the insert, which makes it easy to put in. But if you try to wind it back out again, the torque tries to force it out on diameter and makes it grip the sides of the hole, so it's just easier to be sure you're really ready to put it in before you commit. Keep turning until the whole insert is below the mounting surface, how much further isn't really critical. I work in the aerospace industry, and we actually specify these from new anywhere we're bolting into aluminium both for strength and for wear resistance, but in the automotive sector they have to be ruthlessly focused on cost, and quite understandably it's cheaper to leave them out and just rely on me not being enthusiastic with the tools. Now that the helicoil is in, the last thing we have to do before we can bolt the joint back together is to take off the drive tang, which is what this last tool is for. This punch has a blunt end, so just poke it into the hole until it finds the tang, then tap it with a hammer and the tang will snap right off. It should be better than new now, so go ahead and bolt it up. Just don't let Thor near the job this time. The whole process only takes about 5 minutes end to end, so there's no real reason not to do it. Thank you for watching. If it's been useful, please subscribe for more. See you soon.